morning and welcome to Friday and we are in Zeebrugge for Bruges. I've just heard the bow thrusters going so we must be docking as we speak and I'm just off to see if we can find a coffee because we are really getting off early this morning. It's a half day really, we've got to be back on ship by 3.30 and we've got to make uh, a quick getaway this morning if we want to be able to actually get there and back in time. Now I'm fairly sure everybody's got the same idea. There are, as you've just seen, uh, lots of excursions going this morning. It's a half hour ride into the train station that takes you to Bruges. You have to get a bus from the ship to the port gates to even get out of the port. So we've got a two bus journey before we actually get to anywhere to take us to Bruges. We were going to look and see if we can get an Uber this morning, but apparently there's not that many Ubers, so I've just popped up early to check to see if there's any Ubers running. We don't mind getting a taxi, apparently it's about £60 into Bruges, we've budgeted for that. We are a little bit worried whether logistically we're going to get there and back in time. One of the things I've pointed out is there's very limited wheelchair availability on the buses both in the port and also um, to the train station so, uh, so we're going to play it by ear and see if we can actually get off this morning one of the things you don't see when you see in the itinerary it says oh we're going to Bruges they don't tell you actually how difficult that might be and I suppose that's one of the reasons for taking the P&O excursions even though we were probably looking at the best part of £400 to get there and back with the family. I suspect there's quite a few people with the rucksacks on the back this morning. No time for a coffee and muffin this morning, so I'm taking it back to the room. She's asleep in the buggy because she was definitely hungry. Morning. Are you going with mommy? She's fine. You're alright, I'm alright. She'll be screaming halfway down. No, ah, don't drop me, don't drop me. Not you. <laughs> I had a baggie up to go down that one. No, no, it's it's really hard this yes. morning. Uh, where's the bus that takes you out? So. It's strange getting off a ship in the dark, isn't it? Oh. Shit, this is Steve. We're not the only man to do that. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah. <laughs> We don't want to lose it all without a big lift out the back. Yeah, got a wheelchair on it. They've said it's um, 4.30 boarding. I'm sure it's had 3.30 yesterday. Yeah, the last bus is at 3.30. Oh, is it last bus 3.30? Oh, it's not too bad then. I thought we were going to make a dash back for 3.30. I've never been out of Poppy Boys, I don't know. Excuse me? I've never been 
Okay. Hey, get out my chair. Hello. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> Look at that. I'll just trap you down now. Put your bondage. Some ramps before, look at that. Like that. Hello, yeah, mate. You had anything to eat? A little, little, is it too early? Up on Too early, isn't it? It's still dark outside. It's about midnight. Yep, yeah, sun is rising slowly. You comfy over there? Let's try a train if you want. I'm going for this. I'm at this such and thinking, bloody hell, the English tourists are here early this morning. Well, I'm just going to video the bells playing and they've stopped. Oh, 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 nine o'clock. What's this? Can you hear the bells? Count them. That's two. Three. Are you counting? Four. Well, a proper cup of Belgian coffee. So we are sat in the Grand Class in Bruges having a nice cup of very nice Belgian coffee and it's what temperature would you say it is it's probably 10 or 12 13 you don't feel 13 it's a bit chilly but it's supposed to be 17 or 18 degrees today it's nice blue sunny sky so we're looking forward to a nice day in bruges hello look at them mouth very nice, aren't they? What a beautiful looking pancake. I could eat that. I've had a croc madame, which is a croc monsieur with an egg on the top. And you've got continental breakfast. It's very nice. Well, it will be. It'll be nice and fresh as bread you can find. Oh, the bells are ringing again. I think they call it Bell Tower for a reason. They say, oh, they're about to shut those bells up, shut them up, they're making my head hurt. Right, name one thing that we've done on this cruise that we've never done before. Like a picture postcard, that isn't it? Mm. Why it stopped? Why has it stopped? Yeah. Just forgot to take the rope off. So you take the rope off. Take, you off. take the rope off, silly man. Take, take the man. Silly man. <laughs> I see one more. He's going oh. up. Here he goes. Oh, so you're going the wrong way. You think you'll go under the bridge? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Say bye, keep your head down. 
There we go. Oh, how's it going? There it goes. Ooh, under the bridge. Oh, more swans. Oh, more swans. Oh, how many swans? Not five. Count again. One, two, three, four, five. Not five. Count again. One, two, three, four. They're not five. Look at that. British ones. Yeah, well, I didn't want you to flick over on your side. That would have been nasty. Oh, it's coming down now, yeah. Lele. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, okay, bye bye. <laughs> we don't have the food. Got on faster than I could get upstairs, eh? Faster than I did. 
Oh, I'm not doing that ramp. Hello. <laughs> Hello there. Afternoon. Hello again. One last time. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that's a ramp and a half, that one. I'll never figure these lifts out. I'm on the wrong one now. I'm trying to get to 17. It's only goes to 16. Infinity bar. Did the wrong lift again. Is this always closed? It always seems to be closed. Well, we're getting a drink from there then. There's plenty of beds up here. Well, yes, I know it's getting an old joke now, but you know what they say? The old ones are the best ones, right? Cheers. Well, we're coming to the end of our cruise around Northern Europe on the Iona. And I've got to say, like I said right at the start, it's been a cruise of firsts. It's the first time we've had a port date immediately after we've sailed. It's the first time we've got up in the morning and it's been pitch black when we've got off the ship. And it's the first time that I can remember that we've actually been in Northern Europe and it's been a beautiful 18 degrees sunny and we're diving in the pool on the last day. It's also the first time that we've actually not had a sea day before we arrived back in port so we've actually got to rush around and pack today even though we're trying to cram a load of other stuff in. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the videos, we will be cruising again soon, I hope you'll join us again and until then, take care, safe travels and this is me Rob, saying goodbye from Travel from Rob and Sue and see you soon, bye! 201 pound 63